relatively small populations dispersed across vast distances. That means we face many common challenges in dealing with COVID-19. Working in solidarity, we focused on a common framework of health sector preparedness and response plan for the Pacific. We inventoried the capacity of our health systems, including technical capacity on critical preparedness, readiness and response actions for COVID-19. Critical laboratory and medical supplies, personal protective equipment and work with partners to address the gaps we could without any delay. It is one of the most challenging tasks we are dealing with in the Pacific, and many of us started to implement border restrictions early on to avoid importation of the virus. In my own country, Nauru, our key challenges are geographical isolation, small, small health care workforce, a small critical care units and communal living family arrangements that can easily fuel local transmission. For the Pacific, as countries start to implement tighter border restrictions in our region and globally, it became harder to send samples for testing, harder to send critical samples in. We subsequently agreed to form a humanitarian pathway, a mechanism that enabled the provision of medical and humanitarian assistance from regional, international and development partners in a timely, timely, safe, effective and equitable manner. Moving forward, our Pacific Island countries are preparing for what is going to be a new normal. We have urgent unfinished business such as building strong health systems, closing immunization gaps we cannot ignore. And there are emerging issues that demand our attention in the new normal. The COVID-19 pandemic is a global health emergency of unprecedented scale. It poses a